Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be taking you around Brisbane and I'm going to be showing you what I eat in a day and a bit of Brisbane City. Um, I did actually film all of the footage about a week ago but then stupidly, guess who deleted all of the introductory footage? <laughs> Me. Um, so I don't track macros and so like there isn't really a typical day for me so when people ask me like what do you eat in a day it really varies and um, I thought this would be a really good way to show you um kind of like a typical ish day um how I how I order food when I'm out and about just so you can get a vague idea of what I'm eating and um, I'll try and film a couple more of these so that you kind of get a little bit of a selection because there really isn't a proper typical day for me I don't eat as much as I usually eat in a video that you're going to see just because we were out and about and I didn't want to keep snacking on cereal bars. So normally I'd eat a little bit more, but yeah, just a couple more snacks. Um, and is there anything else I need to tell you? No, I don't think so. So um, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope it's useful. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Okay, so I've just made my breakfast and I've got some high protein yogurt, some muesli and some apple on top. This is just a really good breakfast when you're moving around a lot. It's something really easy to make, so say if you wanna start eating breakfast at the office and it's really good, um, really high protein. It's a bit higher in sugar than I would normally have, but when you're on the move, it's just really nice and easy. So you can just throw it all in a bowl like I have. I'm using this yoghurt, so for any Australians this is an amazing yoghurt because it's so high in protein. When I moved to Australia I was so upset that you couldn't get skier here because I eat it all the time in England. Um, then I just got this muesli on top, it was just kind of the best one I could find with a lot of protein in and not too much sugar. I'm finally feeling a bit more human now that I've got my makeup done and my hair done. Since I got my hair cut into a bob, like, I've had to do so much more work to it. I wake up every morning and it just looks like this, so it's finally a bit more tame. <laughs> We're meant to be going to the gym now, but we've got so excited about moving flats when we get back to London, but we're going to a furniture shop first. And don't worry, I do have a spare top in my bag. I'm not going to go shopping dressed like this, but it's so hot in Brisbane that this is all I want to wear right now. In a shop. And Alex has decided to take an app selfie. This is the perfect selfie we're at, look at it. I want this, but it's bigger than our flat. <laughs> it's so hot in Brisbane, I'm seriously sweating. And we've just walked into this amazing area full of cafes. So we're going to go grab brunch and then we're going to copy at a different place afterwards. That is a way to do it. <laughs> So the reason that I ordered this is because you've got a good balance of carbohydrates, fats and protein. You've got the fat from the egg, you've got some carbs from the sourdough bread and then you've got some protein in the eggs as well. Um, and it'll be really filling, it'll keep me going for the gym later. I really don't think anybody should be scared of fat or carbs. I don't think anyone's scared of protein, that doesn't seem to be a problem, but just try to get a real balance in your meals, you know, I, I don't track macros, but I am aware that all of my meals should be balanced, and obviously vegetables, like, I almost class vegetables as a separate food group, you should always be really aware of it, like, just make sure you have some greens with everything, and you can see that this is stuffed with courgette, which is amazing. Just had brunch, which was amazing, and we're gonna just go and have a walk around and um, try and walk off lunch a bit. We still have a 
haven't been to the gym, um, but we have been for an hour long walk. I'm trying to cut down on how many flat whites I'm drinking, so I got a matcha latte. Something I realised I haven't been including in this vlog really stupidly is how much water I've been drinking. So, in my bag, in my bag, I've got a bottle this size, um, and this has been filled up twice today, so that's two litres of water. Um, I try to drink about three and a half litres of water a day. If you're by a desk, if you're, if you're working in an office and you sit at a desk, I recommend getting one of these and just filling it up every few hours. So at work I was drinking three litres in the day and then I'd go back and try and drink a bit more. Um, when you're out it's a bit harder, but I know in Australia they're really good for water fountains. You can just fill up your bottle and then if you get off the tap water in a restaurant, have it and drink as much as you can. about an hour to the other side of town and seen our gym <laughs> and it looks like a shed <laughs> so we signed up to plus fitness and they're like your most basic gyms kind of really basic but this is something else apparently it's normally only nine dollars a week for this one which is five pounds a week so that might explain something but i can't wait to show you this <laughs> because it's honestly a shed <laughs> Okay, well, it doesn't look like a shed from the front. I take it back, it looks a lot better. I'm a bit lost, and I think two years ago I would have taken this as the sign not to go. <laughs> okay, so I actually take back everything I said. It looks like a really good gym, but I don't know why Plus Fitness has to make everything orange. Um, so I'm just in the toilet filming this because I feel like I can't really be out. <laughs> chatting to a camera um, but today is a leg day for me so I'm going to be using the Kayla Sweat app and then I'm going to be adding in a resistance band workout. This right here is how you know that you've had a good leg session. <laughs> There's a wet patch on my sports bra. I look how sweaty my hair is. Um, but leg day's done and I feel like I really smashed it, which is great. Um, I always make the weights heavier than the BBG guide suggests because I find you need that to help with your bum. Um, yeah, I'm tired. We're going to go back. We're going to make dinner. I think we're making a prawn vermicelli salad, so you can see us make that. Um, but now we're just going to jump on the bus and head back. Okay, so we're just about to go and make dinner. Um, we're going to have a vermicelli and prawn salad, so just got some noodles, got a dipping sauce which is already made which we wouldn't usually do but it just didn't make sense to buy all the separate ingredients for it. Um, like I say I wouldn't recommend using these because they're, they have a lot of sugar in but they're fine every now and then. Then we're going to have some prawns and this cabbage salad. This is our really simple prawn vermicelli salad. So as you can see, it just looks a bit plain, but it's just really nice and easy to make. Just boil the vermicelli noodles. Um, we coated the prawns in some parsley and some lemon juice, and a little bit of oil, and then we've got a coleslaw salad. Um, and then just topped it with a bit of that sauce that I was telling you about earlier. Um, so we're gonna eat this and then we're gonna go to bed, but if anyone wants any of the recipes from today, although, you probably won't need them, they're really easy. Um, and let me know, and thanks for watching.